that edge off there. Turn on my hands. Obviously, you speed a lot of this up if you salt it out more. But yeah, you do a pretty basic. Yeah, cut out. Basic sure. cut out. It's fast. Yeah, you can get right to the carving. You can move a lot of wood if it's not hard. So, what do you like about carving these? Oh, just kind of fun. I always like carving gnomes. Just kind of. These little guys are just kind of quick. Something you can get done without spending hours bench carving. Each one's a little bit different. The women are real simple, which is what this is. They're easier to carve than the men. Except the face is a little more difficult on the women than it is on the men. Men, you can kind of hide them behind their eyebrows and their beards, and the women, you don't have that option. So it's kind of a pain, but work your way back out of it. Just like to kind of get to where all my surfaces are carved, get away from the saw marks, hmm. and then kind of figure out where I'm going with it. off. Let's try to keep everything clean. Don't get your cuts messy. It starts getting messy then you gotta fix it. That's such a good sound. Mm -hmm. It's a good feel too. If you got really nice basswood, you get a really nice feel out of that knife in that basswood. Key to these little ones, just keeping everything kind of simple. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. And on those cutouts and things like that, you don't want to go in there a hundred times. You want to try to get that in two or three nice cuts. Be done. You want nice, clean cuts. If you start messing around with it, it gets furry in there. That's always my problem. Few cuts as possible to do the job. These little ones are a little hard because they're hard to hang on to because they're small. And your fingers are always close to the knife. So you kind of got to pay attention to everything there. I like one knife carving. Something you can just take a knife and do a complete carving. Leave out some of the detail, but it's kind of nice to do it all in one tool.
got to pay attention where you're running against that grain. You can make it do things, but you just got to be careful. How long have you been carving? Oh. <laughs> Since I was old enough to have a knife, which my mom hated, but I, uh, I started out, I carved a lot of soap. I remember carving a buffalo out of a bar of ivory soap. That was probably, I don't know, eight or nine maybe. I was always cutting my fingers, sticking them in my pocket, hiding them. I think I like it because it's a real direct way of working wood. A lot of interface between you and the material. it again. Little guys are hard to hang on to. That's good if you kind of work symmetrically. If you do something to one side, kind of go do it to the other side if it's a part of it that's symmetrical. Obviously couldn't do that with some things, but if it's a symmetrical section of the carving, it's good if you just go in there and cut them both and get it over with. up just a little bit. The face on the women is always the hardest. What is that? Mm. As like I said, you don't have anything to hide it. Men, you got eyebrows and beards and hats and well you got a hat here I guess but it's making a really really long hat <laughs> yeah You know, I just got to be careful when you're near an edge like that because you could chip that hat out if you push too hard. So you kind of want to keep your pushing to a minimum. Make sure you're cutting and not forcing. 
sometimes it's okay to kind of split the wood out, but when you're in a little area like that that's pretty delicate. You want to be moving pretty carefully. That's where that little point on that knife is nice to get in there. She can reach right in there. What knife are you using? It's a ground down Mora blade. One of their laminated steel blades. The super hard center and the softer outsides for strength. So that little tip doesn't get broke off. Swedish blade. Best knife blade I've ever found. Holds an edge forever. Sharpens easily. It's carbon steel. You can just, maybe if I rotate that, you can see the little hard center lamination lines right there. Okay. See that difference? Well, it shows up more, I think, on this side than the other side, but see that, like the edge area is darker, and the rest of the blade's a little lighter. It's soft on both sides and hard down the middle. Mm -hmm. Makes for a really nice knife. But you can have a blade that's harder, holds an edge longer, than if you had just a blade that was just one material. So what I've got is the face kind of starting to lay out a little bit. I'll size the hat to the head once I get it. I don't want to really get her any smaller. Almost got her too small now. 